Hi guys, this is my Manifesting March vlog. For the last 31 days, I have really focused on changing the way that I look at things, the way that I think about things, the way that I do things to try and um, manifest more financial abundance in my life. And from this experience, a whole range of incredible things happened. Increase in awareness, increase in intuition, increase in the flow of money. It really has been remarkable. And I cannot wait to share this vlog with you. But please make sure that you follow it all the way through to the very end because I have an incredible story to share with you of something that happened during Manifesting March. So I really hope you enjoy this video. And as always, let me know what you think. So I've just had my first working week of Manifesting March and I am blown away by how much my uh, attitude and headspace has changed. Um, I've done a 180 degree turnaround from frugal February where I was just like angry and constantly frustrated. This time I'm just more positive, I'm more uplifted, I'm more trusting in the universe and things have already happened. Um, before I explain just a couple of things that already happened, I want to tell you about what I'm doing. So most mornings, well probably three to four mornings, which is not actually most mornings, I do some sort of meditation and this time I'm consciously making sure that I do it a lot more, but I'm listening to a some meditational music which is for, it's called Attracting Money and Success. Now I bought this CD, I think maybe like 10, 15 years ago. And if I can find it, I will make sure I put the link in the description box below because it's really helped me, um, uh, I guess, trust and be open for ideas and opportunities. So, um, and I'm just constantly practicing that when I get an unexpected expense, just trusting it will be okay. But a couple of good things have already happened. One, somebody found my sunglasses that I lost during frugal February. Now, I'm not someone who ever loses sunglasses. Um, uh, I'm really, I take care of my sunglasses. I really love them. And I don't have a large collection of sunglasses. It's really quite, it's down to like three pairs. So I got a text message saying someone found them and they're on their way back to me. So I'm so excited because I really love them. Um, another thing happened. I almost got another parking ticket and I had been at the gym the day before and I had done a class and I was really tight and sore and I saw the parking ranger get it to my car and like pull out his book and I ran well couldn't really run because I was so sore as fast as I possibly could to the car and like yelled out no and the parking ranger turned around and smiled and said okay no problem and um, I had actually been over the time so I stopped and thanked the obviously the parking ranger for not booking me but i also thanked the parking gods and fairies out there for letting me off this parking ticket because um that would have obviously been a little bit annoying and um i'm just you know i'm really opening my mind to ideas um for manifesting money i'm not just taking this like flimsy silly blase approach about trusting i believe I'm capable of manifesting money and I'm actually constantly looking for ideas and solutions to save money and to um, uh, create and earn more money. And um, I, it's, it's things are starting to happen and I, I can feel it already, but I'm going to share with you continuously throughout this blog. So keep watching. So I've just had my first weekend of Manifesting March and in my positive headspace, I'm really trying to stop and be really grateful. Um, and conscious and present um, when I do spend money and really stop and appreciate and value the actual thing or activity or service or product that I'm choosing to spend my money on. Um, for example, a me and a friend, we went away this weekend to the Hunter Valley and we went and played on a um, quite an expensive golf course. And it, it obviously cost quite a bit of money, more than I would normally pay for a golf course. Anyway, I really made an effort to really enjoy every moment that I played um, golf, even though it was raining and it was, every, my feet were like completely saturated and soggy and my feet went all pruny and gross. Um, really enjoy being out in the fresh air um, because it was raining. Um, nobody was around, so we had the golf course com pretty much completely to ourselves and really enjoyed being amongst nature, being amongst the trees and kangaroos bouncing around. Um, it was just, you know, I didn't feel um, begrudged by having to spend a lot more money to play a game of golf than I normally would. 
and I actually can't wait to go and do that all over again. Also, um, on Saturday, I took Rocco to go and get a coffee and some banana bread. And this is a pretty um, standard ritual um, for him and I. But again, this time I really stopped and enjoyed having banana bread with him, talking to him more, playing with him more, engaging with him more. And we ended up spending a lot more time in the cafe than we normally did and ended up ordering more banana bread and coffees. And I just didn't care. It was just such a great um, bonding exercise for him and I. And again, I really enjoy like wasting that money because it was all worth it. Okay, so the working week isn't even over yet and already so many good things have, have happened and so many good things are still potentially happening. Um, for example, I had these lamps on eBay, which I put on eBay as part of the thousand dollar project eBay craze and they never sold. And week after week, they've automatically relisted. I think they've relisted like five or six times and lots of people watching, but no one actually bidding. Anyway, finally this week, someone put a bid on them, which means they're going to sell and there's going to be money for the thousand dollar project to keep me on, tr on track with that um, challenge. And these lamps, they're beautiful and they're going to hopefully go to a really great home where they're going to love and appreciate them. Also, I've noticed some of my frugal habits, not all of them, um, from Frugal February have automatically continued on. For example, I'm automatically taking snacks to work and lunch to work and coming home to eat lunch at home rather than buying um, lunch near the office. Um, so that's just automatically saving me money. And I'm actually really valuing that little sort of weekday savings or easing up on the um, on the spending habits. So that's also amazing. And one other thing I want to share with you guys that I'm doing as Manifesting March is I am as well as doing the meditations, I'm also listening to a lot of motivational clips on YouTube um, and not only helping me um, stay focused and um, stay, you know, have a really great attitude, but they're also really powerful because they explain to me why having a great headspace and attitude is so important if you want to be successful. So I will link probably my five favorite um, motivational um, videos on YouTube in the description box below. And what I like about these videos is they're only five to 10 minute videos. So they're great for listening on the way to work or just before you go to bed at night or most powerful time of the day is early in the morning. Plus I hopefully have more good news to announce shortly. So keep watching. This week I got a puncture. And normally I'd be really angry and frustrated that, you know, I have to pay money and it's time out of my day. And admittedly, the tire took two and a half hours to be fixed. But I've got such a better attitude and perspective on this. It was actually a really good thing that happened because when I took my car in to be fixed, not only did they fix the tire, but they also were able to check all the tires. And I know that they're all um, safe and um they don't need to be replaced anytime soon, which was also a good thing because I was worried that they would need to be replaced soon, which is ex even more expensive. But I have peace of mind knowing that my car is obviously roadworthy, it's safe, and I'm responsible for anyone that I get that gets in my car and I drive, including Rocco. So to me, the value of peace of mind is huge and completely outweighs the cost of getting, you know, a tire um, a puncture fixed or even the replacement of new tires. So sound like a Bo Repair or Bob Jane T-Mart um, infomercial, but it was, it was a good thing that happened and um, I look at it with so much gratitude and appreciation for that in small, to me now, small investment for getting that puncture and I don't even care about the two and a half hours that I lost the other day. It was worth it. Also, Manifesting March is not just about hoping, praying, trusting, um, wishing that money is going to flow in. It's also about taking proactive, conscious action today to try and make stuff happen. And so Emily and I went through all the people over the last month who had contacted us about booking in for a Skype consultation with me. And it was amazing. Every single person replied back and went ahead and booked in. I've just finished doing um, all those Skype consultations and they've just been incredible. And um, I really love do having Skype consultations with people because I do them around the world and I've met some really interesting people and heard some incredible stories. So it not only was obviously it, the whole experience was obviously a manifesting outcome, but also 
energetically I got so much back from connecting with people around me which is another form of I guess manifesting because it's connections and relationships with people around us that actually make us feel really wealthy and another thing that I've also been doing around the whole concept of manifesting March is actually going through and looking at my business and at my personal finances and look at again ways of saving money you know and also looking at the efficiency of money so you know if I pay for this how much value and benefit is it do I need to keep it can I tone it down or do I actually need to even increase that and it's been incredibly insightful doing this because I understand a lot more about how I invest my own time money and energy and that return on that investment so manifesting much isn't just about thoughts and feelings it's also about powerful actions and making sure that they're positively correlated together my weekend was full of many blessings a friend took Rocco and I out to breakfast. Um, Rocco and I got given tickets to the zoo, so I took him and one of his little friends to the zoo. And we even got invited out to dinner on Saturday night. So it was actually, it was a weekend full of many blessings and, you know, beautiful experiences and fun and bonding and connections. And on the Sunday, um, I took Rocco to breakfast and because I was actually paying for that, because I hadn't really spent that much money during the weekend, I really enjoyed spending that money and I really found myself savoring the beautiful healthy breakfast that I ordered and sitting with Rocco and sharing a fresh juice and it was great and I even found two dollars on the street so and I spent my Sunday just being at home and getting through work and just it was just a really easy um, obviously cheap weekend but it was just full of also amazing blessings in my working week um, I had a bit of bad news and Without going into detail about the bad news, I'm obviously a bit really depleted from it, but I'm really trying to focus on the positive sides, the fact that I'm going to try and fight this particular argument because I really am going to stand up for what I believe in, and yes, it's going to cost me a lot of money to do that, but I'm fortunate that I can, I'm going to, you know, I'm passionate, committed, and determined um, about this particular um, event, and that fortunate that I have found a way to help, you know, cover the cost of, um, of fighting this thing because I really believe in it. So. It was a little, it has been really disheartening hearing this um, bad news because it's expensive bad news, but it will be okay. And all I can do is do my very best, focus on the positive, stay strong, um, know that I've got this and the universe has my back and just hang in there. But um, I normally I would melt and fall to pieces in this type of situation, but there's like an inner strength that's building in me and my attitude is really good. So manifesting March is incredible even though I'm feeling a little bit flat right now so I'm in my second last working week of manifesting March and the blessings and realizations and self-awareness is are just continuing on and I feel like I'm getting deeper and deeper into this um, new space one thing I'm realizing is whilst my attitude is changing and improving and strengthening in such a better place than it was for frugal February I'm so much more aware of other people's negative attitudes and other people's negative language and how it really does directly reflect their position or situation or own headspace. So I'm now going to be a lot more mindful of when I speak in a negative way because I really do think it has a negative impact. Um, the other thing I realized is manifesting March isn't just about like earning more money or making more money or creating or manifesting more money. It's also about deeper, stronger and better connections. So this week um, I set about, you know, really wanting to connect and bond and work with other YouTubers. So I, you know, went through all my favorite YouTubers and went through, found new YouTubers to follow and watch more inspiring videos to help improve my own, um, I guess, vibration field. And I reached out to a whole pile of them and I was um, blown away by um, those YouTubers that emailed me back and were open to, you know, and interested in doing collaborations together and, and sharing our message and and um, ideas and philosophy. So, you know, it's just amazing. I really believe in the power of, um, you know, combining forces and pulling each other up rather than pulling each other down. And, you know, I'm not a competitive person at all. If anything, I'm actually, I find comp competitiveness between people really quite ugly. 
I'm all about, you know, march to the beat of your own drum, but where you can, you should bond, hold hands and pull each other up because your energy and power and ability to add value to other people's life is so much better and more powerful. And just, I guess, how do I say this? Um, it helps create a much happier world where we can, I think, achieve better things and lead by example for the younger generation coming through. Um, however, also on a financial note, um, I am stuck on a thousand dollar project. I've got about, uh, I think I've got about like $840 in my thousand dollar project account. And I've been like struggling to and waiting for things and trying to make things happen to get it up to the thousand dollars. Anyway, yesterday in the mail arrived a special dividend off my Crown Resort stock for the thousand dollar project portfolio of $196.62. And I also received a check on my own personal private share portfolio um, for the same uh, stock holding. So not only did I get money for the thousand dollar project, but I also got it for my own portfolio. And of course I will be reinvesting um, both dividends. So this will go into the thousand dollar project account. My personal um, check will be deposited in my personal account and I will buy some more stocks with it. But this is going to buy another thousand dollars of the stock for the thousand dollar project. So I can move on to my next $1,000, which always feels good. I've just had my last weekend of manifesting March and it was a massive wake up call. I wasn't very well and I don't want to sound like a hypochondriac, I had just a bad head cold, but because of that I had a sore throat and I was sniffling all the time and sneezing and a headache and felt a little bit achy and tired. And because of that, I couldn't get myself into the normal bubbly vibrational headspace where I'm positive and have a great attitude and, and you know, um, excitement about the month that I've been normally carrying throughout this period. So it was, it's been really good because it's made me realize if I want to be able to achieve great things and manifest and attract and um, be open and respectful and show lots of gratitude, I need to be in really good health. I have to have great levels of energy. I have to have great levels of concentration and awareness. And being sick really clouds that ability. So it's I now know that I've got to eat a lot healthier. I've got to maybe change or improve the way that I'm exercising so I'm more efficient. I've even got to learn to maybe um, not overcommit myself, which is um, a bad habit of mine. And I've got to just take some more just tender loving care of myself so that I have great energy levels and I, my body is a great vehicle for achieving all the things that I'm putting my head, heart and mind to. So getting sick was a good wake up call and a good lesson to learn. Now Festing March has finished and this has been by far the best and most beneficial personal challenge that I've ever set for myself. I have immense respect and appreciation now for the importance of having a positive attitude and a positive headspace. By p being in a place of manifestation means that you increase um, and improve your level of um, gratitude. You increase your awareness of what's going on. You see a lot more positive things um, around you. You see more opportunities. You're more open to creative ideas. And also your level of intuition also strengthens. Um, I have learned so much about myself and I've had some really incredible things happen to me this month. And it's made me realize manifesting March isn't just something we should do every now and again. We need to do work on ourselves as the best of our ability to try and be in this headspace all around. And not only has being in this headspace helped me, obviously from a financial and business perspective, but it's also helped me in other areas of my life, in um, the quality of the relationships with people around me, in the way that I look at certain challenges or problems, um, in now looking at sort of focusing on the bad side, but actually now going, okay, well, what's the solution to fix that? And it has just been a, a, quite a profound experience. So if you're thinking of doing this, I highly recommend it. Now, something quite big has happened during March and um, I'm going to tell you what happened. Now, Penguin Books uh, um, approached me and uh, turning the thousand dollar project into a book. And I have started writing the book. I've started working with Penguin um, and I have an amazing publisher um, to work with who's helping me a lot. So this is a huge 
um, passionate project of mine and I'm so glad it's actually going to finally be published. There have actually been a lot of false starts. I've wanted to write a book for a while and I've been approached by various publishers but just when I thought it was going to happen they've changed their mind and told me that it wouldn't sell or there's too many books in this type of space. So when one of the biggest publishers in the world reached out to me and, um, and literally it has come, it has been sort of agreed, all the terms have been agreed um, in March. Um, this is incredible. Now, the pro the book deal is around the $1,000 project. So I want you guys to know, I would like to include you or anyone doing the $1,000 project in this book. Um, when I hear about what you're doing in the $1,000 project to save and earn extra money and what the purpose and goal behind it, that really invigorates me with passion and excitement and you actually in inspire me back. So going forward, I would love everyone who's doing the $1,000 project to please share with me their stories, their discoveries, things that they've found enlightening and things that have helped them maintain focus and determination for your own $1,000 project. Anyway, I just wanted to share that really big bit of information for you because I'm so incredibly excited that it's finally happening after many sort of disappointing um, uh, moments. Now, if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe and also please tell other people um, about my channel and how it's helping you because you never know who else um, may need some sort of help and sometimes the tiniest little snippets of a bit of advice can make an incredible um, change and impact on someone's financial future. So I will see you later in the week for Money Monday um, or Lifestyle Love. Ciao for now. Bye.